Is it coolant or is it air? We're gonna discuss intake manifold and intake manifold gasket leaks next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. Auto manufacturers are not making servicing intake manifolds any easier. Look at this. This one is on the back of the engine. Other ones, it's in a very tight V of a V6 or V8. So spotting leaks visually is becoming almost near possible. You're going to need a couple tools to help spot these leaks. If you have an air leak, you're going to have to use a smoke machine. This puts smoke into the intake manifold and forces it out. This way you can spot your leaks visually. If it's a coolant leak, you can use a pressure tester to pump up the pressure in the system to find the leak. Pull some plugs. If you see a white crusty plug, that's a sign that you have a leaking intake manifold gasket or a head gasket. Regardless of the type of leak that you have, you're gonna need a scan tool to look at the codes that the leaks are causing. If it's an air leak, you're gonna have lean codes with that engine because the engine is getting outside air that is making the combustion mixture lean. You need to check for these codes and clear them out. If you have a coolant leak that's coming through the intake manifold, you're going to need to make sure that the oxygen sensor and converter have not been poisoned. If you're dealing with a plastic carrier gasket, typically these go in with just a light coating of coolant on the outside because these are designed to move and flex as the block and intake manifold expand and compress as they heat and cool. Also, some of them do have some sort of lubricant. It typically will be included in the package with the gasket set. Follow the directions and make sure it's going in the right spot. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.